Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump was right. Kavanaugh FBI investigation was huge win. It's all happening now. The controversy surrounding Judge Kavanaugh's Supreme Court nomination process has swept the media outlets. Now the FBI is investigating after the Senate Judiciary Committee had their own hearings on the matter. However, in the end, it could serve to help the Republican Party in general during the midterm elections. A new poll for Gallup has statistically shown that Republicans' enthusiasm has been rising just five weeks before the election. This puts them neck and neck with Democrats who were leading just mere weeks ago. The poll reported, 61 percent of Democrats and Democratic leaners and 58 percent of Republicans and Republican leaners say they are more enthusiastic about voting in November compared to prior elections. Daily Wire reported. These levels roughly match Republicans' record high enthusiasm in 2010, Barack Obama's first midterm, when the GOP won a whopping 63 seats. But this is the first time in Gallup's trend since 1994 that both parties have expressed high enthusiasm, Gallup reported. Most fascinating in the poll is the comparison to 2010. In the first midterm since Obama was elected, and the first after the passage of Obamacare without a single GOP vote, Democrats got shellacked, losing 63 seats in the House of Representatives, the largest seat change since 1948 and the largest for any midterm election since the 1938 midterm elections. Republicans also picked up six seats in the Senate. The route was even worse across the country. The GOP gained 680 seats in state legislative races, breaking the previous record of 628 set by Democrats in 1974 after the Watergate scandal. And that was before the partisan hearings of Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh this past Thursday but after his three-day hearing. The poll was conducted September 17 to 23. Gallup also showed that enthusiasm is running high among all adults. Americans' enthusiasm for voting in November is significantly higher than it was in the prior six midterm election years. 55% of U.S. adults say they are more enthusiastic about voting than usual, which contrasts with between 37% and 50% saying the same in Gallup's final pre-election surveys each midterm year from 1994 through 2014. Currently, 33% say they are less enthusiastic. Gallup reported. Gallup's poll followed one by NBC and The Wall Street Journal last week. The journal said, the poll, while outlining challenges for the GOP, included some good news for Republicans. The party is closing an enthusiasm gap, with 61 percent of Republican voters now expressing high interest in the election, nearly matching the 65 percent of Democrats. In polls taken over the first eight months of the year, Democrats had held an aggregate 12-point advantage in the share of supporters showing high interest in the election, Politico reported. President Donald Trump on Saturday cast the FBI probe into his Supreme Court nominee's alleged history of sexual misconduct as a potential blessing in disguise, appearing optimistic that federal agents would absolve Brett Kavanaugh of the accusations several women have lodged against him over the past month. It will be a good thing, the president said of the bureau's reopened background check into Kavanaugh, according to a pool report. Trump authorized the inquiry Friday after a dramatic meeting of the Senate Judiciary Committee, at which Senator Jeff Flake, Republican Arizona, joined the panel's Democrats in demanding a one-week investigation of an allegation by Christine Blasey Ford ahead of a full vote by the chamber on whether to confirm Kavanaugh to the high court. The president also said he expects the investigation to be completed ahead of schedule, and emphasized that law enforcement officials have free reign to pursue whatever leads they desire to uncover the truth. They can do whatever they have to do, whatever it is that they do. They'll be doing things we have never even thought of, Trump said. And hopefully, at the conclusion, everything will be fine. Trump's remarks Saturday follow a report by NBC News, citing unnamed sources, that the White House is limiting the scope of the FBI's inquiry. Trump moved to rebut that story in a tweet late Saturday evening. NBC News incorrectly reported, as usual, that I was limiting the FBI investigation of Judge Kavanaugh and witnesses, only to certain people, he wrote online. Actually, I want them to interview whoever they deem appropriate, at their discretion. Please correct your reporting. Kavanaugh has faced intense scrutiny since multiple women came forward accusing him of sexual misconduct. And in a dramatic hearing this week, Ford told senators in powerful testimony that she's 100 percent certain Kavanaugh sexually assaulted her more than 30 years ago. The judge vehemently, and at times angrily, denied the accusation. At a rally Saturday evening in West Virginia, Trump's invocations of Kavanaugh served more to demonize congressional Democrats than hype the prospect of a majority conservative court.
President Donald Trump on Saturday cast the FBI probe into his Supreme Court nominee's alleged history of sexual misconduct as a potential blessing in disguise, appearing optimistic that federal agents would absolve Brett Kavanaugh of the accusations several women have lodged against him over the past month. It will be a good thing, the president said of the bureau's reopened background check into Kavanaugh, according to a pool report. Trump authorized the inquiry Friday after a dramatic meeting of the Senate Judiciary Committee, at which Senator Jeff Flake, Republican Arizona, joined the panel's Democrats in demanding a one-week investigation of an allegation by Christine Blasey Ford ahead of a full vote by the chamber on whether to confirm Kavanaugh to the high court. The president also said he expects the investigation to be completed ahead of schedule, and emphasized that law enforcement officials have free reign to pursue whatever leads they desire to uncover the truth. They can do whatever they have to do, whatever it is that they do. They'll be doing things we have never even thought of, Trump said. And hopefully, at the conclusion, everything will be fine. Trump's remarks Saturday follow a report by NBC News, citing unnamed sources, that the White House is limiting the scope of the FBI's inquiry. Trump moved to rebut that story in a tweet late Saturday evening. NBC News incorrectly reported, as usual, that I was limiting the FBI investigation of Judge Kavanaugh and witnesses, only to certain people, he wrote online. Actually, I want them to interview whoever they deem appropriate, at their discretion. Please correct your reporting. Kavanaugh has faced intense scrutiny since multiple women came forward accusing him of sexual misconduct. And in a dramatic hearing this week, Ford told senators in powerful testimony that she's 100 percent certain Kavanaugh sexually assaulted her more than 30 years ago. The judge vehemently, and at times angrily, denied the accusation. At a rally Saturday evening in West Virginia, Trump's invocations of Kavanaugh served more to demonize congressional Democrats than hype the prospect of a majority conservative court. The entire nation has witnessed the shameless conduct of the Democrat Party. They're willing to throw away every standard of decency, justice, fairness and due process to get their way, Trump said. A vote for Judge Kavanaugh is also a vote to reject the ruthless and outrageous tactics of the Democrat Party, mean obstructionists, mean resistors, Trump added lamenting attacks on Kavanaugh's character. I will tell you, he has suffered, the meanness, the anger, Trump said. Officials with the White House have been cautiously optimistic about the chances of Judge Kavanaugh getting confirmed. Some have admitted anonymously that the situation was complicated. Other officials have said that President Trump might be considering a new nominee given the chances that Judge Kavanaugh will not be confirmed. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like, and subscribe. Thank you.